Greetings, Star Trek Fleet Commanders. I am the Angry Rhino. So today, I'm going to continue with my Janeway-themed videos. And centered around things that I realized last night. There was a Dominion hostile event yesterday. My normal crew is a... Strange New World crew got to thinking, well, let's see what Janeway does. So I did a few runs last night, and I did a few just to have some fresh ones this morning. So let's take a look. First of the variation, see I am on my pillum here, so I have you horror. But because I want to create more damage, Gorkon above decks, Hue below decks. <clears throat> You can see against the 53, I didn't even lose half my shields. Where the hell am I at? Okay, here we are. 54. Lose a little bit more of my shields. Not losing too much haul. It's not great. That is almost 10% ish. Maybe 7. Not really going with the numbers like I was before because eh, we kind of understand how exactly she's working. It's more about how does she work compared to other crews. <sighs> Hit a 55. Yes, I was damaged. I wasn't damaged that much. Probably wasn't going to take him either way. Oh well, it's for science. So, then I sent in the full synergy Strange New Worlds. It's a 54 battleship. See, I lost a little bit more hull here and all my shields. Part of that is because these hostiles, while they do shoot a lot, then what, four weapons? Four in the first, two in the second. Then four and a third, two and a fourth. That pattern continues. You don't kill them quick enough because the whole breach gives you extra damage. So that is probably what that is. Where the hell was I at? This one, this is a 53. Goes much better. Another 53. We can take the can take the 53s fairly consistently. Part of the reason why there's so many 53s right here is because nothing else was spawning. Except 55s. Like couldn't get another 54 to spawn, which is a problem. Actually, this was the 55 that killed me when I was running Gorkon. So I was able to take him out, you know, finish him off. And able to kill a few more 53s with the same hull. Then here, try to take a 55. Same results, really, so can't really do the 55s yet anyway. Or with this ship. So then comes the Janeway testing. Barely got a 55. Two million hull left. That's not a lot. And just for shits and goos, I hit another 55. And yeah. Oh wait, that was the wrong one. Shit. This was the second Janeway 55. Yeah. Did I come back here with Janeway? Yes, came back with Janeway. To hit some of the 53s. You can see it's going about the same. It's a 54. 
lost all the shields that time. So that's not great. But at the same time, your shields do come back after the battle, your hull doesn't, so it's not that big a deal. It's not great, but see this time I didn't lose all my shields. Another 53. But why I'm mentioning this, one of the problems I have when I go kill Dominion Hostiles is, especially with the Strange New Worlds crew, you gotta be in a certain ship type and hit a certain ship type. Well, with Janeway you don't. So as you can see, fighter not battleship, Still in my pillow. It's relatively the same. That's not. That's not a huge difference. So. While well, she's not necessarily better. For. Hitting your triangle advantage. The type of hostile you have a triangle advantage against. She can be good for grinding. In systems like this that have multiple ship types because you can not be limited to a certain ship type. I can hit with the Janeway and Doctor and Gorkon. I can hit Interceptors and Battleships and therefore grind quicker. Not have to sit around and wait for stupid Battleships to spawn because the spawn rate sucks ass. Oh, another thing I wanted to show, because I didn't talk about it last time. More suiting to talk about it against the Gem of Dark, because they more, are more of a balanced, hostile. They do have somewhat more damage and closer... What am I trying... How am I trying to say? Freebooters have extremely high hit points, low amount of damage... Right, so it's like, they're like this, but these Jem Hadars, they're bringing it a little closer together. So, you do want to put some damage on them and get the battle over quicker can benefit you. Taking a look at isolytic damage, because as of right now, it's not being mitigated. You can see mitigates zero isolytic damage, so... My 130,000 goes, splits 80-20 between the shields and the hull. And what I really want to call your attention to... <clears throat> the critical hit here. As you can see, the 1.1 ish is about my normal shot. 110 ish thousand is my normal isolytic damage, 10%. See, the crit damage is four and a half million. So, 450 thousand for my isolytic damage. So the isolytic damage is after the critical hit. So it's not like, let's say, uh, Riker and how E increases your damage. That is off of base. Well, critical hits, you know, get factored from this number. After your base and all your research has already been factored out, then your critical hits get factored in there. Then your isolytic damage gets factored in. So getting critical hits, especially now, can benefit you if you're going to use Janeway because you're going to get more damage. And just because I have Gorkon on there showing you critical hits now with Gorkon being active are up to almost six and a half million. So again you have all your base stuff, like your Riker officer and such and such research. And then you have your critical hit and your critical damage 
getting factored after that. And as you can see, the way that hole breach is factored, I got another 2 million here. So, like I said before, and we've been trying to say this, I assume we're getting a point across. Hole reach just doesn't add another 50% to your crit damage. It does multiply your crit damage by 1.5. And as you can see, my isolytic has gone up. I have the fancy little artifact for the hole reaching isolytic doojabob shit. So I get like another 1%. So again... Factored not only after the critical hits, but also after hull breach is factored on your critical hits. So that is, I mean, it looks nice now. We're going to have to wait and see what isolytic defense looks like. We're kind of rolling this stuff out in phases just so we... It seems easier to us to get a handle on, I guess. I don't know. So just to wrap up this part, Janeway can be useful to you at grinding other things like, say, Jem Hadar. Oh, something else I realized last night, and you could say it hit me, was Janeway's effects in PvP. Yes, I said Janeway's effects in PvP. Let's find out where I am. Here I am. I'm doing some missions. I'm doing some dark space missions. I'm doing some... Uh, the Queen Gambit thing dropped last night. I think it was this, this battle log. This was a battle. You know, I just killed some stupid thing for a mission. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not yes, I have a course. That this, I'm not... Here trying to brag, oh look at my corvus, I'm just showing you. Pay attention to where my hull is. So I left that system and I came up to another system. Yep, my old buddy Mr. Roz hit me. As you can see, the arrow going the other way. And why I wanted you to pay attention to where my hull was, because, yes, there's a lot of blackness here, but... Some of that's Tal. Some of it is my hull was down. So while yes, this is a segment about Janeway and PvP, this is also some reinforcement to Tal in PvP. Just to go over Janeway, non-player hostiles or armada, not PvP. That was her captain ability. Her officer ability, non-player hostile and armadas. No benefit to PvP. Giorgio for burning. She just burns. PvP, Armada, Hostile, Mission Boss, whoever. Have not tried Janeway on Mission Bosses or Tal for that matter. Not 100% sure that they work. I have seen a few comments. It doesn't look like Janeway works. Why? I don't know. Non-player Hostile. Sounds like a Mission Boss to me. However, Tau, 5% of the hole when you're burning. It does, you know, it just works, as far as I understand. But, if you don't win, you get the hole back. So I did get the hole back. But, Tau really isn't that good in PvP. He's really only good if you're trying to punch up. Like, say, the other way around. If I was trying to hit... I mean, it's... 180 million Sanctus. That's punching up for me. Well, I guess as you can see, it really wouldn't benefit me to use Tau. But for ships like this with huge hulls, that's when you want to use Tau. Now, you're not going to win, then Tau's not going to work, but... You could burn them, and that's a tactic. Rialta span them, Mantis them. If you burn them enough, get them down, 
get their hulls down and get their hulls way down, like say maybe 10% hull left, then maybe Tau can turn that tide for you and actually finish the battle off a little quicker. I don't know that I'm going to be using Tau too much in PvP. Base defense, sure. Them big ass ships want to hit your base. Really the only use for it. Because, just because it's fake damage and if you don't win, then you it's almost like it didn't happen. So, we'll sum that, sum that up. Right, Janeway not good in PvP, but she can be good against Jem'Hadar hostiles. Tau has niche uses in PvP. Usually, if you Mantis his ship and then Rialta spam with burn, maybe even Tau can eventually get you there, but. I did try it in Incursions and it, it doesn't work out that great. Comment below. Have you seen uses for Tau in PvP? Describe them for me. And how are you liking Janeway? I really like Janeway. Hopefully you found out a use for her. As far as the leaderboard that is scheduled for this weekend. I have not heard any changes to the schedule. It is a recruit SLB that is scheduled for Janeway this weekend. I expect that it will be an XSLB in preparation for incursions. That is just what I expect. I do remember the last time they did that with the Cisco auction. And we screamed bloody murder and they gave us another Cisco auction. So what will happen this weekend? Haven't got a clue yet, but it, I am hopeful that whether it's an XSLB or an SLB, Janeway should be the recruit officer. So potentially, and I know we hate XSLBs, but you may be able to put some points up and get a few more shards if you need to unlock her. I think she's worth it. <clears throat> be sure to like and subscribe. I am the Angry Rhino. Shields up, Commanders.